Hello, hello and welcome. Silri is here with Mech Warrior Online and this is a Warhawk bell. Thanks to how Omnipods function in the game, you can obviously fit this on any single Warhawk variant. I am just running it on the B variant for random reasons. So the name of the build is Brawly. Not something you usually see Warhawks going for because of, well, it's 85 ton assault mech, it's not 100 ton assault mech, so it doesn't have the 100 ton assault mech armor, obviously. And the Warhawk doesn't have quite so awesome hitboxes due to the side torsos being kind of massive and getting blown up from the sides and all that stuff. Anyways, I have personally been enjoying this build a whole lot for, well, maybe it's because I like mobility and I like brawling. Mobility Warhawk has kind of good mobility. It actually is pretty agile mech when you think of it, and it actually moves pretty fast for being an assault mech, which is also nice. So, this build is running Clan Ultra AC-20 with two medium pulse lasers and four SRM-6s with an Artemis. So, it's, like I said, it's full mode brawling, and I have tried a variant where I stripped away the Artemis, and instead of the two medium pulses, I ran a one large pulse to have a little bit of range poke to add into the belt. And that was kind of workable as well, but it doesn't have the same damage numbers as this thing does. Obviously, with how the Clan Ultra AZ-20 works, or the Clan ACs anyway, is that you're gonna spread damage all over the enemy mech with the Ultra AZ-20, instead of just hitting one component for 20 damage like the Inner Sphere ACs do at the time of the making this video. But that also combines kind of nicely with the four SRM-6s with an RTMS, because those things are also spreading damage all over the place. This mech is really, really good at stripping away massive amounts of armor in basically a single wallet, or actual stripping and blowing up components from enemy mechs which have already had their armor mostly, you know, destroyed. Because you, you are spreading damage when you start shooting at things. If they have open components, it's kind of likely you are going to blow all of them apart and into tiny little pieces. And 4 SRM-6s is also really good for hunting light mechs when they come harass you. You smack those into its face and it is probably not coming back. And with a little bit of luck, it's going to be dead. So, Warhawks lack some great space, obviously. The left torso is always, always full of double hitting and so on. So it's kind of hard to make even tougher brawler belt, to be all out honest with you, because of the lack of, well, great space. So targeting computers and such might have to be dropped in, you know, place of other things. You can easily fit a targeting computer mark 1 on this particular build, but it's not strictly necessary even. And you'll obviously have to drop a little bit of armor to fit the build in nicely, so you don't have floating tonnage. If you don't want to drop armor and you want to just max out the armor, that's okay, then you're just gonna have to have some floating tonnage over. So yeah, as for the Ammunition amounts, those are personal preference, like if you feel like you need more or you need less, like you're dying more often and you does need less ammo, then you go with less ammo. All that stuff, and where you store the ammo is also a personal preference, you know? Obviously. It's up to you entirely how you like to do the stuff. Personally, I have to say though, that this has been a really, really enjoyable build for me to play on a Warhawk. Because people don't expect a brawler warhawk coming at them, like, ever. So they kind of tend to ignore you until they start taking a whole lot of damage, because you are firing four SRM-6s and a U UAC-20 into them, and then they start paying attention. Also, because of how speedy, like I said, the warhawk happens to be, it, I mean, it's an also mech which moves over 70 kph with the speed wing. It is kind of speedy for an assault mech, and so you can get, zip around quite well and actually come to from flanks and so on to take on people. And, well, the usual brawling stuff, 
Ob obviously it takes precedence of like not actually just charging over the open ground into the enemy firing line that's basically a bad idea no matter what you do but if you are running some long range of weapons you can at least do something before you die with brawling build you do that you are not in range of your weapons you can't do anything and then you're dead the usual stuff so pick around corners and fire away at the enemies and destroy them all in a brawling warhawk because it's fun all right thank you very very much for watching hopefully this well give you some new ideas to do with your warhawk and also finally i wouldn't suggest taking this thing into community warfare that would probably be a really really bad idea